hard for us to put our trust in somebody. We're always afraid that the trust will be betrayed. Always afraid of being vulnerable like that. But you know, God has laid himself open to us. Thank you. Thank you. He's buried himself to us. He's willing to go to the cross for us. Thank you. Yet still, he trusts us enough that he believes that we will make the right choice. And he has made it possible for us to do so. Yet still, we don't trust him a hundred percent. Sometimes we claim Jesus as our Savior, but we don't even trust Him 50% of the time. Some of us will come to the altar, ask for help, turn around and walk back with the same load we came with. Amen? Because we don't trust Him the way we do the way we ought to do. But I'm here to tell you that he's willing to teach you. That he's willing to show you that he is trustworthy. There is no other God, no one else who has time and time again fulfilled his promise. Amen? When God says he's going to do something for you, he does it. When he promises to take care of you, he does it. When he promises to heal you, he does it. But here's something we often don't like. When he promises to correct us and he doesn't, sometimes we get upset. But in the long run, it's always for our own good. He is willing to risk in order to do right by you. And we ought to commit ourselves to do right by him. Amen? We ought to trust him every day, every breath we take. Every situation we in, we ought to trust that he will make it all right. Amen? Amen. Let's give him some praise. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet as we declare the kingdom agenda. He had made a promise to us, and we in turn make a promise to him. And the kingdom agenda says, to evangelize to the lost, to edify the saved, and be a consciousness in the community. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. While you're on your feet, I'm going to ask you to open your Bible to Psalm 117. Psalm 117. When you have it, say amen. amen. Psalm 117, and it says, Oh, praise the Lord, all the nations. Praise him, all the people. For his merciful kindness is great towards us. And the truth of the Lord is good forever. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear Father. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, dear God, for giving us the opportunity to come in together one more time to worship and honor your name, dear God, to acknowledge that you, you are the one who have our destiny in his hands, that you are the one who created us, that you are the one who breathed the breath of life into each and every one of you, dear God. 
God, we want to thank you that, Father, for how they blessed us, dear God. For having given us the opportunity, dear Father, to stand up and claim you as our own, dear God. Lord, we ask you today, dear Father, that you reach your hands out, dear Father. And you touch each and every one of us, dear God, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. That you reach deep within us, dear God, to the darkest corners in our heart. And just shine the light, dear Father. And clean us out, dear God. Take all those sins, those sinful things, those sinful thoughts, those sinful words that we have uttered, dear God. And make them as distant to us as the east is from the west, dear God. We ask, you, dear God, that you bless the man who will be bringing your message today, dear God. That somebody will leave here today, dear God. Convicted, dear Father. Claiming you, dear God. Telling to others, dear God, I have seen the light. And the light is Jesus Christ. Amen. So I just ask you, dear Father, that as we go through this day, dear God, that everything we do, say or think, dear Father, be right in your eyes. And we ask you, dear God, that we be that instrument, dear God, that your love and your kindness will always shine through us, dear Father, that with everyone we come across, dear God, that they will look in our face, dear God, and see you, dear God. Thank you, dear Father, for your kindness, your mercy, your persistence, your unending love, and your total forgiveness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.